First and foremost, I'd like to just take a moment to say just how amazing Kelly's looking today. How happy it makes me and my wife to actually be able to welcome you to our wedding, albeit later than we first planned, but we've made it and we're here, so thank you all. Lloyd, you really have been a phenomenal friend to Alessio and I. Over the years you've helped us both through some tough times and you've given us the support when we've needed it to stay focused and stay on the right tracks. Nothing is clearly too, too much for your mates and we know that we can rely on you as a friend for life. So you and Kelly are perfectly matched and thanks to both of your hard work you've brought a beautiful home together at such a young age. And finally to your greatest achievement in life, Poppy. You have a beautiful, funny, adorable daughter that we look forward to seeing grow up and develop. None of us expected how naturally you'd take to being a dad. Um, and both you and Kelly have grabbed parenthood by the horns and you're absolutely smashing it. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Lloyd, do take thee, Kelly, to be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Kelly, do take thee, Lloyd, to be my lawful wedded husband. Kelly, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and as a symbol of our marriage. Lloyd, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and as a symbol of our marriage. I heard a little saying many years ago that I believe is true. So they say that a girl's first love is always her father. And when I see the bond between Kelly and Martin, it always puts a smile on my face. So if I can achieve half of that with Poppy, I'll have done my job as a dad brilliantly. So with that in mind, let's raise a glass and express my gratitude to the parents. What else am I gonna say? What happens now? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> my pacemaker's a bit chip. <laughs> you have both made the declarations prescribed by law. You have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your family, witnesses, friends and two registrars. Therefore, it is my very great pleasure to announce that from Friday, the 9th of July, you are lawfully joined together in matrimony and are husband and wife. So you know what they're all waiting for. <laughs> Let's seal the deal. I'm so glad that Lloyd and Kelly found each other and I know Lloyd will treat Kelly the way she deserves. I couldn't be prouder of everything they've achieved together and they make a great team. I happily welcome Lloyd as my new son-in-law. I love you both and I know I speak for everyone when I wish you both a lifetime of happiness as Mr and Mrs Keel. <laughs> I think we can all agree Lloyd's extremely lucky to be able to now call you his wife and you do look absolutely stunning today. 
And as Joe just mentioned, your influence on Lloyd has steered him on the right path, matured him, and made himself into the man he is today. And you should genuinely be really proud of that. You've always welcomed us as Lloyd's mates and been understanding, kind and caring. And as a group of mates, we consider ourselves to be a family and we're happy to now have you as part of that family. So if everyone would join us in raising a toast to the happy couple, cheers. I spent a lot of time trying to work out exactly what it was I wanted to say to Kelly today and I rewrote this speech numerous times. But I guess the fact that we're here, as husband and wife says a lot, I feel so lucky to have met someone that always puts a smile on my face and makes me laugh. Even on the occasional time I get stressed and, and aggy, which doesn't happen too often, but we're there. I can't wait to make more memories in married life with you and Poppy and wherever our family grows to. I guess what I really want to say is thank you for agreeing to marry me being an amazing mum to Poppy and making me as happy as I am every day.